Hello, my name is Tian and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, we at HydroTest are delighted to introduce you to our latest test equipment. Uh, our development engineers have just completed uh, the work on the DSG OAM or DQ200 test stand. Uh, we have two options available to our customers who are interested in, in testing these units. The first one is aimed at our existing HydroTest customers and that is the original test stand which uh, can plug directly into your HTC controller that is fixed to the valve body test machine, your solenoid tester, or indeed the dynamometer. Um, I'm going to take you through a quick endurance test that's been set up on the valve body machine. And then uh, we'll take a more in-depth look at the, um, at the complete test on the all-in-one test stand. Can see we're driving the pump once we achieve high pressure or full pressure should i say we are energizing the solenoids at this point we're just um we're just flaming them on and off um, to perform an endurance test that can continue to run for as long as we choose um, but as i said we will take you through a, a fully automated test on the on the all-in-one test stand this particular unit is aimed at customers who aren't necessarily existing customers of ours um, because you wouldn't need a controller uh, everything required is built into the stand um, of course if you are an existing client who and you don't want to tie up your machinery uh, because of high volume uh, then you obviously are welcome to, uh, to purchase one of those test stands as well i will just switch that off there that's the uh, fundamental basis of how that operates you can see how i'm just draining that circuit away now so we are controlling that stand through the software that will be loaded onto your existing equipment if you choose to go with that option now we'll take a closer look at the uh, all-in-one dsg unit um, this particular unit, uh, everything is included, everything required to complete the valve body test for the OAM is all uh, uh, within this particular uh, test equipment. I'm going to take you into a quick solenoid scan. Testing the solenoids, we're now monitoring uh, current, so amperage of each solenoid. Once we're happy with those results, we'll continue. Okay, then I'm going to take you into a data acquisition mode test. In this particular mode, the software will run the test for us. Uh, all we have to do is follow the answer instructions. If you press start, you'll see we'll be asked to uh, fill the unit with half a liter of oil, which we've already done. And then we'll complete the priming process. Uh, once we get to that stage, we'll follow the instructions as we go along. So I'm going to drive the pump. We are now driving the onboard pump. Uh, once we achieve pressure is required on screen. That's now operating. It's a priming process. Um, during this process, uh, fluid is being distributed around the unit, and the, uh, the important part of the test really will start next. So, this stage we will top up our unit with the remaining fluid, so the other half a litre, just pour that in there, in the funnel straight through, through the breather into the, uh, into the system, get that drain away a little bit, I am going to use our slider to set the pump up, okay now I've, uh, I've driven the pump, as that decay uh, takes us back to 60 bar, it's important that I get this right. We'll continue the test at 60 bar. Um, and then uh, at the end of this test, there will be a graph on screen that allows us to uh, monitor the results of line pressure. So we're making sure that the, the unit is sealed, uh, that there's no leaks, no cracks, and uh, we'll be able to monitor this in graph form. So if there, if, if there is an actuator that doesn't respond, we'll be seeing a flat line in the graph, which is an indication that the unit isn't responding to the solenoid instructions. We're almost there now. Okay, that'll do for us. Okay, so we are now energizing the solenoids. 
you'll see we are monitoring each one of these gear actuators. You can see how that is uh, marked up on the plate for us as well. We are controlling them because we're ramping the solenoids as opposed to just banging them on and off. We are controlling the rate that they're moving at. Um, so we're actually doing a more comprehensive solenoid test rather than just uh, checking for cracks and leaks. Okay, now you can see we're instructed to drive the pump once again. That's it. You can see this unit is holding pressure particularly well. That will make its way back to 60. Once it gets there, we'll press continue. And we'll take a closer look at the uh, K1 and K2 clutch, clutch actuators. Okay. You can see the K1 sliding out there. And back in once again. So monitoring, monitoring the clutch actuators closely. And now we are completing a drain cycle. So obviously, uh, obviously dropping the pressure within the unit as a safety feature. And at the end of this test graph will jump onto your screen and you can make direct comparisons collected from a known good unit uh, compared to this one that we're testing. Okay, so you will note that green line is uh, Output pressure or line pressure in this case. Okay, you can see I've put a little bit more pressure into the unit uh, as opposed to the, when the data was collected, but you can see the step down working its way down the graph. So it's telling you that those actuators are all responding in time like they should. I will also load onto your screen uh, the solenoids. You can see we are trying to follow the dotted data as closely as possible. There you go, and that's a complete test performed on this stand. Uh, completed and performed in minutes.